of the Freeride World Tour wearing the golden bib, Jess Hodder. She has had a smoking start to the season, a, actually a tough start at the very beginning, uh, having having a pretty big tumble and then coming back in the absolute most Jess Hodder way with a win. Jess Hodder on course. Let's see which way she's going to head. So she's dropping into the big exposure from start one there, heading across to the lookers right. Let's see if she can make that sunny side of the face throw up some snow. Yeah, such a strong skier. I mean, you saw her drop out the start gate there, two turns, and she was across all that exposure, lining up that cliff perfectly to the landing. So clean off the Heusel cliff for Jess Hodder, and now heading way, way out to the skier's left. There's all kinds of stuff. This has been a, a happy zone for you, Craig, down here. So Jess... Pumping off that, just adding little nuggets to line score all the way down as she looks like the snow's actually running all right over there. And another really fast cliff. You can see she's really trying to hold it together over that really bumpy Abbey, de Abbey debris and uh, mixed up snow, but she's got another air under her belt as she moves further over to the right of the Brennig area. Yeah, she's doing so well. Oh, that was a nice turn right there, but I think the snow looked pretty rough on that side, if I, if I have to disagree with you, Derek. Um, no, I, I agree. I think that's the side that's had the most sun on it. And yeah. this early, it's not quite uh, it's not quite softened up yet. But just handling it like the pro she is, and now coming again down this skier's left side of the channel, getting herself into this zone. Lily, we saw definitely having uh, having some issues with the snow. Jess, she's making the snow move, and she's definitely uh, making a case here that it is pretty skiable. She's lining up a little air into the channel gap and ripping her way out. Just hold it together all over those bumpy, bumpy tracks there. And so far, as we've come to expect from this ski women's field, two runs, two clean runs, and some great skiing. So, so far, so good on the ski women. I think uh, I think that's a great way to open things up for Jess for the two run. You know, she's got, she's got basically a couple of solid airs in there. The, the hoistle cliff at the top was perfect. I, I think she couldn't have done that better. And, uh, and you know, now she's going to have the opportunity to reset her head and maybe go back up when it's softer. And as you said, out, out on that uh, skier's left side, Craig, it'll hopefully be a little nicer to ski after. Yeah, exactly. I mean, this first feature was snow looked fine. And then I think as she came over here, it was a bit rough. But like you say, it's going to be softening up. She's hit those features now. Maybe she can come back put a grab or a trick in, I'm sure she wants to. Yeah, look at her legs bouncing around as she just tries to get some direction there. Skis all over the place, but handling it, absolutely handling it. And this, this was a nice take on that lower section, finding a little feature to get out of the uh, out of that bottom piece. And the judges love that, right? Line score, super important in this sport. And she was just adding pieces all the way down. She didn't really have an empty section. 88.67 so is 